Hey everybody, it's Matthew Seville, and today I am going to be checking out the Loop Deck CT with Capture One Pro. First and foremost, this video is sponsored by Loop Deck. A big thanks to them for sending out the Loop Deck CT. I've actually been curious about trying out one of these devices for many years, and I was very excited to hear that it's working with Capture One Pro now. You might be wondering, what is the Loop Deck? What is the Loop Deck CT? It's this physical device right here. It's got actual dials, physical buttons, and customizable digital buttons. It's all designed as an add-on to your keyboard to help you do both photo and video editing in most popular applications. The CT is their flagship device. It's got everything. It's got the kitchen sink here. The Loop Deck CT runs about $550, and they have other models that are also compatible with Capture One, but like I said, this is their flagship device. All of the Loop Deck devices are designed to work for photo and video editing with pretty much all of the popular photo and video applications. Today, like I said, we're working in Capture One Pro, and I've just always really loved the look of the colors and tones that Capture One gives. I do a lot of wedding photography, portrait photography, that's my day job, and I do a lot of landscape photography and nightscape photography, I guess that's my night job. And overall, I just love the way Capture One looks. With its default setup, the Loop Deck gives me physical control over all of the editing sliders, or a lot of the editing sliders in Capture One. I've got exposure and contrast and things like white balance, and a lot of the usual settings that I'm going to edit for most of my photos. And then here in the middle on the digital screen, I've got quick access to things that I commonly use like cropping or gradient masks so that I can get more advanced with my editing. And this is actually an overall workflow tool as well. Let's say I'm not doing my advanced color correction just yet. Let's say I've got a folder of photos and I wanna sort my keepers from my rejects. There are four default profiles here and if I just click to the number one profile, it switches everything up and now I have access to scrolling between the photos and I can sort my keepers by hitting five star ratings or filtering them. And then when I'm ready to do the color correction workflow, I just hit back over to the number two profile and it brings up all my color correction adjustments again. So basically, the more photos you have to edit, the more you can save time with the Loop Deck by speeding up your overall workflow as a whole, and especially if you're willing to dive in and customize all of these buttons and dials. Now, I gotta admit, my initial reaction when I first plugged in the Loop Deck and installed the software, it's exciting, but it is a bit of an intimidating learning curve because all the buttons and dials light up and you just feel a little bit like you are stepping into something that that is very sophisticated and very high end. Then on top of that, I know that I'm gonna wanna really dive in and customize some or a lot of the buttons and dials, and I just know that that is going to take some time to really, really master this device and get the most out of it. Now, thankfully, customization is actually very intuitive and easy with the Loop Deck software. It's very obviously laid out with this visual interface here. You just select the controls that you wanna change, and then there's this very easy drag and drop functionality where you control what you want the buttons and dials to do. Anyways, after using the Loop Deck CT with Capture One for a few weeks, there's some favorite things that stood out to me that I really like. For example, these six physical dials actually turn into 12 dials if you think about it. What I mean by that is, by default, I've got six controls here, white balance, temperature, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, and structure. But they're also buttons. So if I tap on any of the dials as a button, it changes the function of all six dials. Then I've got tint, brightness, saturation, whites, blacks, and clarity. Now, this setup was the default configuration when I started playing with the Loop Deck a while ago, and I really liked it that way. But if you get the latest software update, it's changed. Pushing the physical dial buttons will reset those sliders. So if you wanna change the function of the six dials, what you do is you swipe up or down on the digital buttons. Either way, the point is, you've got some really cool customizations available. There's a lot of other neat little tricks that I grew to appreciate really quickly, such as being able to level your horizon with a physical dial. Basically, the more in-depth you want to get, the more the Loop Deck CT has to offer. There's the six physical dials that are actually kind of 12 dials, and then between that, you've got your digital customizable buttons 
But then below that, you've got all of these buttons that allow you to quickly change the function of pretty much everything above here. And you can do all of your different workflow steps from culling to editing, basic editing, or color grading if you're going into Photoshop or into a video editing application. You've got access to everything right there. And then, of course, below, you've got easy access to basic buttons that do simple things, save, undo, or just going through your photos, which you could also customize these for rating or five star or whatever you wanted to do. And then, of course, the main digital dial, which you can customize even more. If you're going to go from Capture One to Photoshop, or if you're doing both photo and video editing, the Loop Deck will automatically change the functionality of everything to suit whatever application is currently open. So for me, this just creates an overall simplified, unified workflow experience, no matter what editing application I'm working in. Speaking of getting advanced and in-depth and customizing the Loop Deck CT for Capture One, there is one issue that you might encounter, but probably not. I encountered it because I've already customized Capture One's keyboard shortcuts, and that's how the Loop Deck interfaces with Capture One. It automatically installs a keyboard shortcut file specifically for Loop Deck for Capture One, and by default, if you haven't done anything, it'll automatically load up and you'll be fine. But I had created my own keyboard customization file in Capture One, and so all I had to do was go into Capture One's preferences, find that Loop Deck file, and switch it, and then I was good to go. Anyways, like I said, overall the experience is very intuitive and smooth operating. I was excited to be editing photos with the Loop Deck CT, and that's really what it all comes down to, is what do you get for your investment? Is it worth $550? And also, is it worth the time that you're going to have to spend to customize and get in depth and master this device? And for me, the biggest advantage was definitely the obvious one, the physical control. It's definitely something that you just have to try for yourself and see if it jives with your brain the way this works. Some people might prefer just using your mouse and, and doing every slider manually, but if it clicks with your brain and you enjoy having a physical dial, then there's really nothing like it. Simply put, having that tactile response, having that physical control over editing your photos could be a real game changer. It might save you a ton of time, or it could make editing fun again, even if you're not editing a ton of photos. Or it could do both. You just have to try it out and see for yourself. The other obvious advantage is the fact that it's a separate physical device from your keyboard. Because remember, Capture One does allow very extensive customizations to your keyboard. The hotkey shortcuts that you can do for Capture One are basically anything and everything. So you could customize your keyboard like crazy, but then it would be all customized and you wouldn't be able to do anything besides edit your photos. Having the Loop Deck as a separate physical device lets you compartmentalize your workflow and work in Capture One with the physical controls over here. One more neat trick I found that you might not think about is because you're editing with physical dials and buttons, you can actually take your image, go full screen with it, and you're still editing your photo over here on the physical dials. Honestly, for me, this made my editing natural and intuitive, but also it just made editing fun again. Last but not least, physically speaking, the Loop Deck is not a cheap product. The build quality overall feels excellent. The buttons and dials click in this very nice haptic feedback. There's also a vibrating feedback that you get from touching the buttons, which I didn't necessarily need, but it's there and it's very, very uh, reactive. Overall, the feel of the dials and the buttons is just very, very high quality. Having said that, the Loop Deck CT in particular is a $550 investment. So who's gonna benefit the most from that? If you do high volume photo editing, or if you're also going from photo to video editing, then the more applications you use, the more time you spend in front of your computer, the more the Loop Deck will 
simplify and streamline your overall workflow. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't need to be doing paid work in order for this loop deck to be worth the investment. As long as you enjoy the editing process, as long as you appreciate the physical control and how it makes your overall workflow an intuitive process, then you could really, really enjoy this. In conclusion, I would say that the more editing you do, the more you could benefit from having a workflow tool like the Loop Deck. Maybe you're really into the technical advanced side of editing, or maybe you're just looking for something simple and intuitive to make editing less intimidating overall. Either way, whether you're just starting to get into raw conversion software for the first time with Capture One, or you're switching to Capture One from something else, the Loop Deck CT could be one of the best investments you make in your overall workflow. All right, folks, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. You can check out the Loop Deck. We'll put a link in the description below. Of course, leave a comment if you have any questions or experiences of your own. And last but not least, be sure to like and subscribe so that we will see you in our next video.